I wish I would have noticed that it was stopped recording. Oh. Nobody's going to watch this stuff. And if you do watch it, I really wish you would say something. Say, I watched it. Do something. Let me know somehow that this is having some effect. You know? I mean, like, when, when you hear me ask, you know, for a response, you know, I would appreciate it. I'm not, I don't want to, you know, do that often, but it would be nice to know. It would be nice to know. Whoever watches this, it would be nice to know who you are. And uh, if, if you read this, or if you see it in the comment section or something, you know, just say, hey, or hello, or I saw it. I watch all of your videos. Which I, I don't think anybody should do that. You have life's lives to live. I have my life to live. I don't want to spend my life only watching other people's videos, but it is very rewarding to have a sample of your lives. People who make videos, generally, the more you make videos, the less you watch videos, obviously. Only so much time. Unless you're doing something besides watching and making videos which is more likely than anything, as most people do neither. So, I have two beers and some cheese sticks. Two beers. I would like to go to my friend's house, but my feet are really sore, and it's kind of a ways away. I wanted to bring him some beers, like... I think, I think he's a father now. Like, this might be his first kid. And I'm really, I'm glad. I wish, I wish everybody could experience that. I wish things just worked out like that, but it doesn't just work out like that. A lot of us never get to know what it's like to have children. We just never know. We never will know. And it's a, it's a shame. Sad. But it just can it happen? Is it is it going to happen? No. Can it? Could possibly happen. I forget sometimes that. <laughs> What's going through my head is not what's coming out of my mouth. What I was thinking of was that maybe there would come a time when everybody that was alive was assured that they would have something to continue on um, that is a descendant of them besides just the record of their existence. You know, some, some chemical... Um, information, some biological material, you know, DNA, that sort of thing. Not just that thing, but that sort of thing. And I wish, I wish it was like that. I wish more people um, were sure that 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 would go on. For a lot of people, oh, this is nice. You won't be able to see it very well. I'll go over. They got purple and green. Purple and green. It's not really purple. Maybe it's more like magenta. But anyway, I wish. I wish everyone, everyone that is alive, and that ever becomes alive, could be um, somewhat sure. You know that. They would have the chance. Smile, you're on camera. Well, smile, you're on camera, Mr. Camera. Look. Let's see what this does. 
So there's the blue one. There's a purple one. And there's a green one. I think it's pretty cool. And they got silly string out in the yard. It's, it's difficult to see the blue and the green because it's not uh, direct. Or not the blue and the green, the blue and the magenta or whatever that is. Anyway, enough playing around with this. I do want to continue on talking. <laughs> so, ultimately, what would be good is continued betterment. Like evolution does and, and life has done with life and death and birth and the um, I don't know what process DNA undergoes. What do we call that? I don't want to use evolution too much. But the evolution essentially of the DNA molecule that passes from person to person and uh, also the combination, recombination um, and that sort of a process that happens from species anytime you know reproduction occurs. That is a a passing of uh, at least half of an individual's genetic material, if not all, if I'm not, um, or I may be unaware of that, but I I don't think as far as as far as I know for sure, it's uh, just half, but maybe both halves. Does that happen? What happens to the other half? Like if half of mine and half of someone else's combines, that will create a whole. But what about my other half and their other half? Do they also combine? That's something that I don't know. Nice. I love seeing cats and just wild animals just run out. But um, anyway, look, another cat. Multiple cats chasing each other. It is a cat orgy. Oh, this cat probably lives here. No, oh, it's garbage day. So, anyway, like I was saying, it would be nice that uh, people could be sure that. Um, their information wasn't uh, going to cease to exist. You know, that we, we keep going. Um, no. So many people didn't get that. But what I love is is that a lot of them, or some of them, some, I'm, I'm thinking of like Newton in particular. I don't know why, but. So, some of us, we are too busy, like, to engage in that sort of activity. But in the process, we are creating a new form of, um, information it seems like a cop-out word but we'll go with that so we're creating a new form of a new kind of passage system for information ah uh, we're it's almost like we're creating a new kind of structure or we already have we've long since created this in the uh memory, the passage of memories and thoughts, you know, I mean, in a sense, a lot of other animals have been doing it, with sort of, uh, like activities, you know, group, group think, I think would be the word, and that, that group thought has continued on, um, from, 
I don't, not so much, I don't want to say generation to generation, but uh, just, you know, picture ten wolves, one dies, and another one replaces it in the pack. Um, there's nine members of the pack who sort of have experience with that other wolf that has been deceased, and in, in a way, they pass on the information through experience of that other wolf. If it happened to be maybe a particular route that a deer was intercepted in, maybe it discovered that. Oh my gosh, am I, am I totally blocked off here? I used to be able to walk through here, I swear. Maybe I can go this way. Go around the fence. I am currently at the Alpina Power Station. Yeah. It's kind of... It's upsetting to think that some people that I might have otherwise cared about will, uh or that might have otherwise cared about me will see some of the aspects of my life. Please don't be a dead end here. There must be a way through. Uh, um, Some of the things about me will uh, dissuade them from being interested. And that's, that's okay, I guess. Um, I think it's better to put out, you know, it's better to cast, this is a fishing analogy here, better to cast a thousand times um, than to cast once and just wait um, on that one cast. Or, you know, it's probably better to put out more information than less. I think that's probably a good way to look at things. The more that we share, the more that people are capable of knowing about us, and the more that our lives will make sense. We don't just need to share, like, the good things. Though a lot of the other stuff can seem less useful. How do I get out of here? I'm like... I'm trapped. I managed to just walk into this area and now I'm seeing fences with barbed wire. So I am in a fenced in barbed wire area, but it wasn't fenced in with barbed wire from the other side. There's no way out of here. It's it's a cul-de-sac, essentially. Please an easy exit. I want to cross the 9th Avenue Bridge. Here I am. You won't be able to see much. But, hey, it is what it is. That's really cool, though, that Josh, Dylan, Stan, friends. I don't even know if they were friends for so long. Since 8th grade. It's great. Can't be privy to everything about everybody. Friggin' A. Can I just nicely lift this up? Probably not, huh? How could anybody lift this up? Oh, it's it's got a damn lock on it. So, I'm trapped. I'm trapped inside of an area that I can't get out of. fenced in from all the other ways except for this way. You used to be able to just walk through here but now they have to create their telephone pole and stuff processing center. So they fence it all off from 9th Avenue but not from behind. Well, that's probably going to change soon. If they bother to put a fence in on this side you should really put a fence in all the way around 
where it's just just an illusion of security. That's just enough. Hey, illusions exist. Lo and behold, people believe things that aren't real. Secured. When it's not, is that an illusion? Or is that a lack of information? A lack of knowledge. Oh man. I just want to eat my breadsticks and drink my beers and maybe maybe reach my friend's house. So that I can just sit down and talk with him. Flippin' A. Flippin' A. That's about the crappiest fence. Let me guess. It's fenced in all the way around here. I'm gonna have to use the, uh, I'm not gonna use a train bridge. Just go around at ninth. This is, this is really annoying, though. This should not be like this. Came in from the other side. Now I can't. You are likely to be eaten by a groom. You are likely to be eaten. You are likely to be eaten by a groom. If this predicament seems particularly cool. I don't know anymore of this song. Cool song though, it's reference to Zork. Old text based game. Um Groove's Groove. I love it. It is pit wait, how does it go? Not just that it's pitch dark, you were likely to be in the back there. Something else. Can't remember where that was or I never played the game. What am I saying? I never played Zork. Not that I can recall. I tried a few text-based games, but I got pretty bored of them. Back in the old days. I mean like frick. Oregon Trail looked a heck of a lot better than Zork. Just text. As far as I remember. But hey, don't want this Zork. Don't want this Oregon Trail. It is what it is. Actually, I'm just gonna take the train bridge. I'm gonna be a rebel. Might, might even eat breadsticks or roll a cigarette. Oh my goodness. Why would I not just do that? Have a beer here, have some bright sticks, roll a cigarette, take a pit stop. Eighteen forty-two. What's this this is all just not even gonna turn out very well. I'm really just carrying this along now. There's nothing to see. It's so damn dark. There are some things. See a few lights, a few lights. See the horizon. You can always be sure if there are lights, they're likely to be on the horizon. If you're somewhere where there are no lights on the horizon anywhere, then look up because you're probably in a nice part of the world where you can see the sky. Oh my goodness. That, that's so what I would like to do, but what I probably won't do. I'm very envious of individuals who exist, you know, in places like that where, I don't know, just parts of the world. There's so few signs of civilization and 
what's there is up to you. That's, that's kind of what it's about, getting out there. Putting things together that weren't previously put together. And, uh, you know, just having a good time with it. Here's the part where I don't lose the... I am... You won't be able to see this at all, but I'm walking on a train bridge with gaps where the Kindle, if it fell out of my hands, would easily... Um, could easily just fall right into the water. And I'm pretty sure the entire thing is more dense than water and uh, that even if it did float it probably probably wouldn't survive being submerged and I'd probably lose tonight and this device but it's nice to have it nonetheless to be eaten by a crew. If this predicament seems particularly cruel. Cool. I don't even know if that's true. Like, or the way the song goes. Um. Do, 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 do. I can't remember. Concentrating. There's gaps. The gaps vary. If the gaps didn't vary, it'd be easier. I could just walk. And for the most part, I could just walk and not um, worry about it. Like, I'm stepping on some of the gaps now, and it doesn't affect me at all. But there are occasional gaps, like this one, which you won't be able to see, but maybe... Like this one, where my foot would go right in there. Um, and there'd be no way of bridging it with my shoe. And I would have gone down. Oh, and there's snow here and there. And the uh, wood is soaked in whatever it's called. Creed, creed soak or oil, tar, pitch. Uh, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I'm done now. I wish it was daytime. I wish you could see this. But I need to find a, a warm, well, warm. I'm not going to find warm, but uh, a place to lean at least to uh, set food down, smoke a cigarette. Actually, no, I'm not going to have a beer, and I'm not going to bust the food open, but just a cigarette to tide me over. Oh, I didn't buy a, I didn't buy a lighter, and I don't have a lighter, obviously. If you've been watching this whole time, which is unlikely. <laughs> but, I'm sorry, I'm totally off now. Kind of, kind of tired. I do want, want to make, make this, uh, make this idea, make this idea make sense. A good, thorough explanation of the way that things work. And I know there's already so much, but I want it to be concise. I think that's important. That's part of it. You know, if you put a book like Jared Diamond's uh, Guns, Germs, and Steel or something uh, in front of somebody and say, hey, this explains all sorts of things. Most people won't read it. You know, 
they'll take the book and say, yeah, thank you, I'll check that out later. Some might flip through it and find out some things, but most, most will not. They will not walk away from that. Some, some will. Some will thoroughly read it. Some will reject it. And obviously this this video is too long for 99% of the people who just view videos on YouTube. Or even people that view and make videos. It would be very uninteresting for a vast majority of human beings. Even if they do happen to watch it, you will probably not uh, benefit a great deal from all of this talk that I am spewing forth. To be honest, you'd probably be better off not, not concerning yourself with any of this. Just, just live. You know, I, I, I'm sorry I can't do that. I, I just don't have any um, desire. I do kind of have some desire to do it, but it's not about desire. It's just, and it's not so much about will either. It just is what it is. It's, it's not something I'm familiar with, and it's not something I'm I'm, uh, I'm drawn to. You know? If anything, I'm, I'm drawn away. I'm drawn away from Something that I've been thinking about quite a bit is as much as much as I love this place, I would like to see somewhere else. I would like to to experience some more parts of the world. I'm afraid that uh, it's not going to happen. I mean, at least I'm not sitting in uh, in my room. I'm not sitting in my apartment right now. That's, that's a start. And it, it might be enough. It might be enough to just make me happy. Or at least content. Content until... Until I am... What's the word? Now content? discontent, uh, unhappy, until I'm unhappy, or just until I feel un unsettled, maybe. <sighs> It'll happen. Things happen. And even if it doesn't, even if I don't even make it home, I'm willing to accept that. Everything we can not accept it. Yes, we can. What I'm talking about is present states are unavoidable. They are the moment. They are particular arrangement of things at that time and place. But, uh, weird. I don't know if this is like a boys' home or something. Maybe it's a center for wayward travelers. Sunrise Center. It's probably a rehab. such places are. They're just maintaining this, this outlook, this view is not doing humanity very good at this point. I do, I do 
definitely think we could be far, far better off than we are now. of people that I associate with online agree. But what do we do? What do we do about this? How do we change it? How do we deal with religion? How do we deal with this? This bad information that has been passed on and, and transformed. I mean... You can only do so much for the bad thing. Bread smells good. Hopefully I make it to my friend's house. Wow, I'm at 30 minutes. 31 minutes. Pretty happy about that. Maybe I can just walk all the way to his place. Don't need a pit stop for a cigarette. Unfortunately, this is kind of how it gets. You know, things wind down and I'm alone. If I wasn't talking, if I wasn't talking, I would be just looking at things, trying to put them into the way that I look at things. That's that's about how it goes. I'm trying to make sense of things in terms of everything that I know. I do know quite a bit. I'm quite happy with the array, the amount of knowledge that I have. I should get a six pack. I'll do that. I'll get a six. I'll ask if they have six packs here. So, you sell six packs? Yeah. Um, what's the price range? They are nine dollars. Nine dollars. Um, what varieties? We have domestics, and then we have some specialties, but those are two dollars a. A bottle. Dollars, yeah. Eighteen for a six pack. For a uh, yeah, for anything that well, the well, I'm sorry, twelve dollars. I doubled that. Twelve dollars for a six pack of a specialty, and then nine dollars for a domestic. Okay. Um. I don't know. Um, my friend was a ways away. And uh, not exactly sure what he likes. Um, I think I would know. But uh, how late are you open? Till 2. 2 a.m.? Yeah. Um, four hours, yeah. Four hours? Okay. He doesn't live very far away, y'all. Okay. I may come back. Okay. Thank you. are likely to be eaten by a group. Is this predicament seems to be No. I don't feel that every time I like say it. Because I've admitted it. I've admitted that I'm not sure if those are the lyrics. It's weird. Just all these uh 